60 days first. Butch McCourt wants to know how the American Starship came to be. Why'd you call yourself Coyote, and did you and Danny Spivey part on good terms? Um, it was Dusty Rhodes' creation. At that time, I'd never met Danny until Dusty put us together. And uh, he, we were going to be Dusty's Road Warriors. You know, the Road Warriors were phenomenally hot back then. This is mid-80s, early 80s, I'm just starting. And uh, Dusty called me Coyote, you're Eagle, and that was it. And uh, had Dusty not left Florida and gone to Charlotte, it probably, who knows what might have happened, mm -hmm. because he would have really pushed us, you know. But How about the name? Is, How about Coyote? That was all him, that was all okay. Dusty. How about Danny? You good with Danny? Yeah, I mean, we never knew each other before, so it's hard to take two guys who don't know each other and throw them together. But, yeah, I never had any problem with Danny. All right. Uh, Mick Whalen, can you tell us how you started working for AWA? What were your thoughts when it came to the promotion and how it fell apart? I was, now, I started, I met Dusty in Florida. Dusty takes the book and job in Charlotte, like I was just mentioning mm -hmm. on the earlier question. So now I, I go to Charlotte, still never having had a match yet. And, and I'm there, and the, he's, the territory starts to take off. Dusty's getting it red hot. And I'm too big to do jobs and too green to go over. You know, the mm. business was changing at that time. It was becoming more of a marketing, television-driven thing, not just ring performance. Mm -hmm. You know, kids were getting engaged, so it's like little kids going, I think that big muscle guy could beat that guy with the big beer gut. You know, so, yeah. you know, and a lot of guys, the guys who weren't marks were cool with it. Like, yeah, I'll do a job for the kid. I'll make more money than him anyway. Mm. But if he sells more T-shirts, so be it. But anyway, I went there. And I got paid good when I'd work. I'd work on second match and make 600 bucks or something, but it was like once a month. And I wanted to be in the ring. Yeah. So I begged Dusty to send me to Kansas City. I went from Kansas City after about six months to the AWA, because I ran into Jack Lanza at a show in St. Louis. And um, he said, hey kid, you ready to make a move? And I went, no, I'm not ready. And he went, everybody's the shits when they start. And I said, as long as you feel that way, I'm ready. So then, right. then I went to the AWA. Did uh, Vern get you out in the barn at all? Or was there no, any workouts? No, or no, that? that. I heard legendary stuff about it, but was yeah. never involved in any of that. All right, here's a video from uh, oh, Howie. No. All right, talk let's see. Florida, uh, Scott Hall. Uh, I want you to talk about the Gator Scott Hall gimmick a little bit. This was a. Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. It's brutal, right? Uh, and it was the time. Well, every, of the time. Yeah, it was, everybody had blonde hair then. I was working in Japan some then too, so blonde hair was big there. Um, that was a Joe Pettacino, uh Jim Ross project. And, I mean, I'm so low on a totem pole then, bro. I'm just happy to have a job. Sure. You know, I think I wasn't even on a contract. I was just on an oral agreement, like a grand a week. But. And obviously, you can tell I was still discovering, you know, how. Oral to agreement does not involve the promise of rats, right? Oral agreement. We're not talking about that. You mean that they <laughs> you spoke get your to money you? Out. It was a. All right. Yeah, in Georgia, it was a binding legal commitment. Ban Mr. Bloodclot. Well, never mind. You can't ban him. I'm just not going to read it. Oh. Now you can ban Mr. Blood Clock. If I see more trolling, it's going to go up to five years.